Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about arc length. Let us define first what is an arc length. Let theta be the central angle in radian measure of a circle with radius r. The length of the arc represented by s is given by the formula s is equal to the product of the radius and the measurement of the theta. Suppose that we have a circle here and we have the center here, 2 radii, being this as your central angle, wherein the measurement of this angle is in radian, the arc length is the length of this subtended arc by the 2 radii. And this is represented by S, while the 2 radii is represented by R. Meaning, if we are solving for the distance or length of this subtended arc, then what we need to do is simply multiply the measure of the radius and the measure of the theta in radian. Let us consider some examples in using the formula stated earlier. Find the length of the arc of a circle of radius 5 units subtended by the central angle of 30 degrees. It is given that the measure of our angle theta is equal to 30 degrees. However, remember that before using the formula, our theta should be in radian measure. Therefore, we still need to convert 30 degrees into radian measure. To do that, we will be multiplying 30 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. So we will have 30 pi over 180 and writing 30 over 180 in lowest term, we will have pi over 6 radian. Moreover, it is also given that our radius is equal to 5 units. From here, we can now use the formula in finding the length of the arc. So, S is equal to to r times the theta. Substituting the values, we're gonna have 5 times pi over 6 equals 5 pi over 6. Remember that when we are talking of length, pi should be equal to 3.14. But if we are talking of angle, then pi is equal to 180 degrees. Going back in here, since S is an arc length, and if we want to solve for the exact measurement of 5 pi over 6, we will be changing pi here into 3.14. Hence, the arc length is approximately equal to 2.62 units. Let us consider another one. Find the radius of the circle whose central angle is 75 degrees and subtends an arc of 15 centimeters. In this problem, we are looking for the length of the radius. Given that our central angle or theta is 75 degrees and the length of the arc is 15 centimeters. So therefore, writing down our given, we can have Theta equals 75 degrees, but since this is in degrees, again, we need to convert it first into radian. So we will have here 75 pi over 180 and writing 75 over 180 in lowest term, we will have 5 pi all over 12. Moreover, it was given that the arc length is equal to 15 cm, so therefore, Looking at the formula S equals R theta, to solve for R, then it will be equal to S divided by theta. So therefore, substituting our S and our theta in this formula, then R will be equal to 15 divided by 5 pi all over 12. Simplifying this expression, we will have... 36 divided by pi 
and substituting 3.14 in here, then we're gonna have 36 divided by 3.14, which will be equal to 11.46 centimeters. Therefore, the radius of the circle is equal to 11.46 centimeters. For our last example, the minute hand of a clock is 12 centimeters long. Find the distance traversed by the tip of the minute hand from 5 a.m. to 5.35 a.m. Looking at the illustration of the problem, notice that the central angle being formed by the minute hand by traveling from 5 a.m. to 5.35 a.m. is 210 degrees. Therefore, we can say that theta is equal to 210 degrees. Remember that when we are talking of clock, since one revolution is equivalent to 360 degrees, observing that one revolution of a clock is actually divided into 12 equal parts, then each part here will be equal to 360 degrees divided by 12 which is equal to 30 degrees. Meaning, on the start of the time, which is 5 a.m., going to 5.35 a.m., it only follows that the minute hand actually traveled from 12 up to 7. With that, it traveled 7 parts of the clock. So therefore, 30 degrees here, another 30 degrees here, Another 30 degrees here, 30 degrees, another 30 degrees, another 30 degrees, and finally another 30 degrees will sum up to 210 degrees. Going back to this problem, since this is again in degree measurement, then we need to convert the given angle in radian measure. So, to convert 210 degrees in radian measure, then we will multiply it by pi over 180 degrees. So, we're gonna have 210 pi over 180. Writing this in lowest term, then we're gonna have 7 pi over 6. Moreover, it was also given that the minute hand is 12 cm long. We can actually consider the minute hand to be our radius. So therefore, we can say that R is equal to 12 centimeters. The question is how long does the minute hand travel from 5 a.m. to 5.35 a.m.? Meaning, we are looking for the arc length from 12 up to 7. So to do that, we can use the formula S equals R times the theta, which will be equal to 7 pi over 6 times 12 centimeters. So we will have here 14 pi. Once again, changing pi into 3.14, we will have 14 times 3.14, which will be equal to 43.96 centimeters. Therefore, the minute hand traveled 43.96 centimeters from 5 a.m. to 5.35 a.m. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about sector of a circle. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.